morning. It's about 10, 15 in the morning. And we're going to do a beach walk. And looking that way is towards um, Sandy Lane. It's low tide right now. You can see there's a little beach there. And now we're gonna walk along the promenade to that peninsula in the distance. And here's a view of the beach house area where I can hang out. As I mentioned, the uh, Sunset Crest area, owners pay a fee and their tenants can access this facility. Some snorkelers, maybe walking to the same area as me. Okay, from here on in, it's walking in the sand. Such a tough life, huh? Because the paved path ends and now we're really hitting the beaches. Okay, so now some fisher boats are already coming in with their catch. I talked to one guy and he caught um, a big mahi-mahi. Uh, there's a lovely little reef behind the boats here, that dark patch. A lot of people are playing right in front of the hotel, playing beach ball. And I have to say that it's by law that all Bajans have access to the beach. The beaches are all public. They cannot be owned and everybody has a legal right to access the beach. So you can see how far we've come. That peninsula down there is where I've walked so far. Okay, fol folks, we have made it to the Folkestone Marine Park.
Okay, and this is a tranquil scene um, at the beginning of the beach access at Payne's Bay. Um, quarter to 11 in the morning, and I have to say, it's lovely. I haven't been here for a long time. And Payne's Bay is a five minute bus ride from Hull Town. I didn't feel like walking 40 minutes in the hot sun. It's already too hot for me, anyway. And the bus ride is only $3.50 Bajan, which is about $2 Canadian. So definitely worth the value. And just look at this scene, everybody. Oh my God. Just beautiful. Oh, there's the yacht in the background. That's what I usually see from Whole Town Beach area. So I'll get us closer there. And now there's my blue beach bag under the shade for free. Whereas a chair can cost you up to $20 a day US. And I brought my own lunch, my own rinse off water. So I'm self-contained. And I have no idea what these little villas by the beach cost. I'm going to find out their name before I go home. And there's some fishermen sitting under the tree way over there. And they also rent out cha chairs. The color of this water is just spectacular. Whereas here, there's fewer boats, fewer people. It's definitely a quieter vibe. Quite enjoy it. This guy just dropped off his kayak. Now he's going out fishing. I've seen them come in with Barracuda one day. But around the point is Sandy Lane, which is a posh area. And there's the uh, yacht in the background that I usually see from the whole town beach area. And I just spoke to Dorian at the SUP Barbados shop and I can rent a paddleboard for 30 Bajan for an hour, hour and a half, which is about 15 US dollars. Here's a typical morning at the corner of the highway and the medical center. Which is only a two block walk from me. There's a parking lot and there's a food truck there which has, uh, which sells uh, lunch supplies. A lot of workers buy their lunch um, sun sandwiches. And Here's the Sandy Crest Medical Center. It's gonna be a lovely day. Look at the nice clouds. No rain showers happening. I always carry an umbrella because you can get rain showers happening that don't last very long. And I also use it for the sun. And just right there, like only a two minute walk from my little studio, it's the highway and across the street there, you can see there's a gap in the fence there, is the ocean. And here's the information for the Sunset Crest Medical Center. They've got radiology services here, Sandy Crest Medical Center, that's what is here. There's also insurance agency here, and there's a pharmacy here, so once you see a doctor, you can get your pharmacy needs, your medication taken care of right at the same site. Over the years, I've accessed their services once or twice and have always been pleased. I enjoy just watching life go by, looking at the different vehicles. It's a quiet morning right now. It's 9.30, so the major traffic has died down.
So this is the parking lot across from the medical center and taxis park over here. You see one pulling up right now. And here's a popular restaurant and a liquor store. A popular breakfast spot and it's open up day till 3 p.m. And it's popular because it's shaded and you can see it's got a lovely veranda. And there behind the fence is the ocean. You can see a bus, the blue bus. That's one of the government buses. And coming soon is an orange bus. And those are privately owned and they're called the Regi buses. They are very fast and very efficient have a new bus every 10 minutes so you can get around very easily on the island. This restaurant, Just Grillin, is on the way to Massey's store and at night it's a popular eating spot. They have great uh, dishes from seven to fifteen dollars American so it's a good budget restaurant and it serves great barbecue ribs and burgers and fries and all those good things. Is um, the road, the highway where you catch the bus to Bridgetown, or you can go north to Spatestown, or all the way up to the island, North Island. And then, as I said, the beach is just beyond the street there, but it's on that side there in that white building. And now we're taking one of my favorite walks while we go grocery shopping. So we are entering what's now called uh, the Tattle Village in Halltown. And it's, it's just basically now a collection of upscale boutiques. But the interesting thing is these were the original style um, Bajan homes, and they were called chattel homes. And they were put on stilts so that they could be lifted up and moved anywhere. And they've been renovated, obviously. And are really cute boutique shops. A lot of them are duty-free prices. And I never get tired of doing this walk onto the grocery store. And a really cute boutique shops. A lot of them are duty free prices. And I never get tired of doing this walk onto the grocery store. So here we have that was an upscale clothing shop. And then they have free range roosters and chickens hanging out here, which is kind of fun. The highway right now, low traffic, but you should see it at rush hour. It's six o'clock, it's backed up. Inside this area are a series of little coffee shops. And now we're getting closer to Massey's grocery store. And this is a taxi stand coming up. All right, so here's the walkway. Now we got a huge parking lot and we're getting closer. Morning. Hey, morning. To Massey's supermarket. So you can see it's huge, it's modern. So as you can see, these are, um, have security uh, wrought iron on the front and then behind it's uh, a nice shaded area with tiled floors. Each unit is different depending on how the owner has decorated it. Look at this amazing vegetation. I just had to show this bougainvillea hedge. I just love this plant. It grows in the Caribbean. I've also seen it in Greece, Mediterranean climates. Makes great tough hedge. Look at these colors, the oranges and the purples. Mag Look at that. It's a heron. I've only seen that once before quite small. Flamboyant Avenue is named for its flamboyant trees. Look at this folks. I don't think you can understand how big this sucker is. 
Look at this, it's beautiful. Huge. And in the spring, these trees apparently flower in beautiful pink flowers or orange flowers. Well, that was a monkey family that just came along my roof and made a huge clunking, like, sounded like a coconut falling. But it was the family of three monkeys, the parents and a baby, and now they've disappeared into the uh, brush. Can't see them anymore. But you can see the eaves trough thing is not that high up, and I almost walked into one the other day when I was coming out of the door. Frogs that go cookie, cookie.
Grove shopping mall. Great fun to see people. We all wear masks, though.